I'm going to show you guys how to create a free mood board in Canva. Um, so to start out, you're just going to go to this website, canva.com, canva.com. Now this is a really amazing website for just creating um, simple free designs like posters or social media graphics, business cards. Um, you can really do a lot here. Um, so anyways, we're creating a mood board. So to start off, I'm going to go up to the top right and click create a design. Uh, from there, you can see there's some suggestions. Um, so I'm going to click on poster. If this wasn't here, then I could just go to the search bar and search poster. And that's another way to get to it as well as access other sizes. Um, but for now, I'll go ahead and stick with the 24 by 36. So now that I have my uh, initial poster set up, it's kind of a blank canvas for us to work with. Now for my mood board, I want it to be kind of an organized grid. So to create that grid, I can just go over here to the left hand side where it says elements. And then if I scroll down, you'll see grids. Now, of course, there's a lot more that you can always add in uh, later on on top. But for now, we'll stick with grids and click see all to view all our options. Now, there's a lot of possibilities here. Uh, and the further you scroll down, the more panels it's going to have. So right, it starts out with just one, then two, and slowly starts to multiply. Um, so if you're working with a bunch of images or there's a lot of little things you wanna show off, um, the further you scroll down, you'll eventually get there. Um, but for my demonstration, I'm just going to start with something kind of in the upper middle, something pretty simple. Um, and I'll go ahead, I kind of know which image I want to feature. I have an illustration that I did that's uh, basically a square shape, so I'm kind of looking for something that includes a square shape but also has room for other pieces. Um, so these look like pretty good options. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on this one. Okay, so now that I have this, I can start adding to it. Um, so I'm going to start out with the illustration that I had created. Um, and to get that illustration in here, I need to upload it. So I'll go ahead and upload it from my desktop. Actually, it looks like I already did. So if I didn't already upload it, I would just click right here to upload that image. But since I've already got mine in here, I can just click on it. Now, what I want to do is I want to place this into our grid. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of make it the focal point. So I'm going to place it right here in the bottom right hand corner. All right, so now I want to start building around this. Um, and Canva is really great because there's a lot of free imagery that we can work with. Uh, just something to make note of is not all of them are free. It'll usually tell you at the bottom corner. Um, so the bottom right corner, you can see if they're free or if they're not free. Now, I really like these flowers because they're very similar to the flowers I used here. So to add those in, you just click and drag it where you want it to go. And then if I want to rearrange it, I can just double click on it to uh, move its position. So then I can also change a few things on my overall uh, board here. Uh, for example, one is the spacing. So I might want a lot of negative space between my images. Um, or maybe I don't want any, you know, that's just kind of up to you and your personal preference. Um, I'm going to make mine kind of touch, but you know, again, feel free to add this, especially if you don't have a lot of contrast between your images. Sometimes the spacing can be really nice there. Uh, something else I can do, you know, if I click on this image here with the flowers, then I can go and add a filter to it. You know, maybe they don't look consistent or cohesive for some reason. Um, so I can click through these different filters to try to make it better match the vibe of my other image. So I'll lower the intensity on that, maybe just a little bit to make it really match with those flowers. Cool. Um, so then I'm kind of going for a retro look. I've got these cool retro skates in here. They're a coral color. Um, so I can just go into my search box and you can kind of see I already started that. Um, so I'm going to click on skates. Okay, I don't actually like these skates. I think I do want to stick with kind of the retro look. So I'm just going to search retro and see what we come up with. All right, now we've got a lot of really, really great options. Um, this one is almost a really perfect match to go with this color palette. So I'm going to drag out this option. Now that looks bad. So what I do is I just click on it, click on it twice. So you double click and then drag out to kind of get it where you want it. Now all of mine are a little less saturated, not quite as vibrant, looking more vintage. So again, I'm just going to select that image and then go to filter 
and then I can apply a similar filter to what I did with the other one. And then I can adjust the intensity with this slider here. Cool, and then maybe I want these, this record player. I kind of like that. So again, I'm just clicking and holding my cursor down as I kind of hover over these different blocks to see where I want to place this. Now, I really like the contrast between um, this really minimal image. Ah, so this is a good example of a pro photo. So we don't have access to the pro photos. We would have to pay for these. So unfortunately, I'm not going to use this one. So to remove it, I'm just going to hit Command Z on my keyboard. That is the shortcut to undo. So now let's find some versions that are not pro, some free versions. Okay, I really like this camera here. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. It's original brownie. Um, and I think I'm just going to add the filter to it as well. Lower the intensity intensity just a little bit. All right. And then I just need one more image to fill the top. I want something that's also very minimal, again, to kind of balance out the photograph there. So I'm going to actually search minimal. Okay. So we have some options here. Hmm. They're not, not doing it for me. So I'm gonna try vintage. Ooh, these are really nice. This one especially, very, very clean. Um, all right, with this one too, I do want to just kind of pan it over because I really want to get this uh, nice strong teal color in here. I think it complements mine really well. So again, I'll just select that and then I can go over to filter and start to play with this if I wanted to. I actually don't think it needs any filter though. It kind of matches really nicely just the way it is. All right, so now let's say I want to add some text over top or something different, you know. Here's one uh, that I like, Just Breathe. Kind of matches with the, the color palette. But I want to search retro and see what else there is. So this is cool, we have chill. It really fits with the retro vibes. So I'm going to delete the one I had before and let's, we can make this say whatever we want. So I'm going to have it say roll with it. All right, now that's too big. So we're going to make this size much smaller. Okay, then if I click on effects, I can change the main color. It's cool, it'll actually pull some document colors for me, which make it pretty easy. Um, I think I'm just going to do black, so I have like some really stark contrast there. And then you can also change the effects if you wanted to. Um, Alright, so now that I have this selected, I can just select my text again, go to this color, and this is going to change the outline. So for this, let's just kind of see what we have that's complementary. I want something that has good contrast against that uh, black. So that's a little bit too dark for the color. So I'm going to pick something a little brighter. I can actually go to new color and I can make my own if I want. So I want something a lot more vibrant here that kind of matches uh, this blue green color. Cool. So now I have my fun little mood board with the illustration I made and some uh, some imagery from Canva. And of course, you can spend much more time on this and make something uh, really incredible on your own. All right, so then let's say I want to go ahead and download this. Um, I can just go right up here to the top right and click on um, download. And then here I can select my file type. So if I wanted to send this to print, uh, a PDF is a really great file format for this. So I'd click PDF and then just click download. All right, and then there I have my final mood board. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and please let me know if you have any questions. Take care. Bye-bye.